All right, guys, welcome back. This is uh, one of the two blaster boxes I was able to get during uh, Target's Black Friday that they do every Friday. Um, down to one per person, uh, one item per person. That I did also notice um, households, it's one per also. So be careful in line. Um, I don't know how they prove some things. I mean, I guess they're uh, doing like the whole kid family thing. I don't, I don't really know, um, but we'll see how it works out. Tell me if anybody's had any problems out there if you were there um, with your kids. Because if you're there with your kid and they disallow your kid to get one, honestly, I think that's uh, that's not cool. Um, it doesn't say one per household. It says one per person. So um, they, I don't see how they can enforce that. I mean, I'll double check and see but this is my first time opening up select um, I haven't gotten any so far at retail till now so let's see what this looks like alright I don't know how the setup oh look at that right off the top and I got a die cut coming up too got me a Brady card I said here I never like to pull stuff off the bottom I got an orange die cut of some sort coming off also that card is a Melvin Gilmore rookie card so let's get my Brady sleeved up there. Cool. And then a Nelvin Gilmore. I said Melvin. All right. And then a throwback of rookie selector Chase Claypool from a previous year of select back uh, before cards got crazy. And then uh, the Jason Huntley. So first pack so far, really good. Uh, this product seems to be putting out a lot of good stuff consistently which I don't know if that just means they really pushed retail out really hard and are just basically loading it up. Uh, I'm not sure, I mean, I'm gonna have more die cuts obviously, but here's the Elliot. Yeah. I have a Silver Deck Prescott. A Christian McCaffrey. Hey. Die cut, yes baby girl. I'm doing a video, what's up? Nothing. Die cut, and then a Zach Moss Rookie. And the die cuts being die cut all these different directions makes it, uh, very interesting. Sorry about that, guys. Avery's playing around. All right, let's see what else we get. Jalen Rager, rookie. Nick Chubb. And uh, these are the turbocharged Deion Sanders. And a CD Lamb rookie. So again, a lot of stuff good coming out. I'm getting, I got a good box here so far, but I've seen a lot of people just, a lot of, a lot of, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, what's his name? Not Burrow, the other guy though, Justin Herbert uh, coming out, and uh, Deshaun Watson die cut. Another die cut right behind that of Chase Young. Saquon Barkley. Two more packs. Two more packs. Now, I believe you can get uh, relic cards out of this, and you can end up with an RPA. Uh, but they're very, 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 very rare at retail. That's the only thing, insert-wise, that's really crazy that you can pull out of this. From what I know, there's also no numbered products. So, I've got to just shoot from the hip on that. Nick Bosa. And of course, there's obviously different levels to field level, concourse, stuff like that. So you pay attention to that too. Um, Hot Stars, Nick Bosa. Got Nick Bosa back behind a Nick Bosa. And then a Kenneth Murray rookie. I bet you these uh, inserts that are paralleled silver are really nice. Yeah, field level. All right, last pack. Let me know if you went out there to Target and you did good. Uh, how was the hunt? Were there a lot of people in line? Did you end up getting more than one somehow? Um, I went from one store to another and was able to get two different blasters, a prism, and then a select, Cam Makers rookie, Jacob Eason blue die cut, and last one, Antonio Gibson rookie. So overall, you know, good stuff. I didn't get any of the quarterbacks uh, rookie wise. But a lot of good rookies, uh, a lot of good stuff, and uh, it's 
seem to be a fun rip. My concern is there's a lot of this product out there and I've already seen a lot of the same cards over and over and over and over. So I don't know how rare these are really going to be down the line. Um, they're going to be cool. They're going to be collectible. They make all the different colors. The die cuts are really, really cool. Um, they'll be hard to probably grade. Um, but when some, a lot of stuff doesn't have numbers on it and you don't really, got to really dig in to find limits, uh, it makes it a little harder. But very fun product. It looks very nice. Um, very shiny and they're giving you a lot. So, um, you know, they're doing what they have to do to make their money and uh, making a product popular. And that's what they've done here. All right, guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I appreciate it. And I'll be breaking a box of Prism basketball also if you're interested in looking at that. Take care.